lovelies, welcome back. I hope you're all doing really well. So, today's video is going to be a cheeky little Ikea haul because I nipped there recently to pick up a couple of little bits and I came up with some really cool things, so buzzing to share them with you. Honestly, I absolutely love Ikea. I think our whole house is pretty much Ikea, top to bottom. I literally love the place. But what's not to love is super affordable, it's super easy to get hold of as well. And also, we have a new build, so a lot of their furniture works really nicely with our style of house. We're kind of going for like a white modern vibe, so I'm loving like the sleek white lines of a lot of their furniture, lots of smart storage, and yeah, really nice stuff basically. But I think I'm getting kind of quite close to completing it now, you know what I mean? We did buy our house a couple of years ago now, so most rooms are kind of almost done in terms of like big bits of actual furniture. So I've only picked up two bits to show you today, but I do have some kitchenware, some kind of decory bits and plants and pots, you know, all that kind of stuff. What I will say is in Ikea at the moment, their color scheme is on point. They've got lots of grays, lots of concretes, which I love, and lots of gold as well, which I'm loving. That's literally our house aesthetic to a T. So yeah, that's enough jabbering from me. I'll just whiz through section by section and show you what I picked up. So first up, I'm gonna show you some kitchenware and I'm so chuffed with these. First things first, I picked up these two 18 piece dinnerware sets. You have to wear them separately to get the two different colors. This one is kind of a dark gray and this one on the website, it says it's beige, but it's 100% a light gray. Really like this one. I mean, I like them both. So you get a big plate, a small plate and a bowl in each set and you get six of each. So yeah, amazing. Again, super affordable. Can't remember how much they were, but I remember they were expensive, like Ikea generally. So loving these. We also purchased these bowls separately, which are a bit bigger than the bowls that come in the sets. These are gonna be better for actual like meals, like salads, pastas, that kind of stuff. So loving these. We actually picked up a bunch extra of these for Pugsley so they can have his water in them. And we also picked up a bunch of these trays to kind of put under that bowl so that A, when they're in a corner of the room, they're kind of in keeping with the color scheme of the rest of the house, so they don't look mad ugly. And also it kind of catches all of the water that drips off his chin so it doesn't get trodden through the house which is great and they can all go in the dishwasher which is a godsend our last sets didn't the plates were kind of ugh, annoyingly sized so yeah that's why we changed them we also picked up matching mugs as well these are so nice they're a really great size they fit a lungo with kind of froth milk on the top i take hazelnut milk um really delicious what's your go-to coffee but yeah, moving on. I also picked up matching little espresso sets. We're big coffee drinkers in this house. So yeah, loving those. We also picked up these like shelf insert things. So you can put bowls underneath and then stack some more on top without it all being like a huge stack. So they're kind of easier to get out, which is great. This was a great buy. And lastly, for the kitchenware, I picked up two different types of glasses. This one is a gin glass, which is gonna be perfect for my pink gin and lemonades. And this one is technically a champagne saucer, but I'm gonna use it for cocktails. Oh, I love me a cocktail, what's your fave? Mine would have to be a strawberry daiquiri straight up, not frozen, an espresso martini or a porn star martini. They're so good. I love cocktails, so loving ice. I also completely forgot to mention these two. This is a super cool carafe and these cute little goblets that I got to go with it. We've put these in kind of most of the rooms that we chill in just so that we can always have water on hand and pop them in the fridge and kind of move them out on rotation. But how swag are these? I really like them, super cool. Oh, and how could I forget? You can't go into Ikea without picking these up. I remember I went around Ikea once with my grandma and she went around the whole shop and I'm no word of a lie, she picked up just one of these scrubber things and it wasn't even these nicer, bougier, can you call it that, ones with the suction thing on the bottom, just one of the plain ones with no suction on the handle, it was like 30p. I was like, how are we even related? Madness. And she likes to shop as well, so I don't know how she managed that. But anyway, you can't go into Ikea without picking up one of these. So loving this one because it's got the suction thing on the bottom. You can pop it on the side. Dobbs are good. And then this one, you can take the top off and put your like washing liquid stuff in there to then hopefully, I think that might be good for cleaning pans and stuff. I don't know, I haven't tried it, but I'll let you know how I get on. So next I'm gonna show you the kind of little decorate bits that I picked up. First off, we have some candles. I picked up a bunch of these like cast iron candle stands, which is super nice. And then a bunch of these 
tall pillar candles as well. So I've got some this size, which are absolutely huge. And I've also got one that's like this size. Sticking with the candles, I picked up this gold candelabra from Ikea as well. These candles, the grey ones, aren't from Ikea though. These are from a shop called Tiger that's local to me. But I love the grey with the gold, works really nicely together I think. And yeah, goes for my colour scheme. Put these on my dining room table actually, so loving those. Picked up this wooden man thing, which was definitely an impulse purchase, but it looks cute on the side, so loving that. Also picked up this little set of porcelain cacti. These are super cute as well. They look really cute on the side. I also picked up a bunch of these, which are like above wardrobe storage things, which are gonna be so handy. I think I'm gonna start putting away a bunch of my summer stuff because I feel like we're definitely in winter now. But yeah, these are made of like a kind of plasticky kind of material and they zip on the top to keep it nice and kind of dust free. And they also, yeah, are gonna look when you've kind of got a run of them. I don't know if you can see. They should look pretty sleek on the top, so yeah. A lot of above the wardrobe storage stuff looks really ugly. Whereas these are nice. So I like these. Oh, shit. I also picked up a bunch of these little white hooks, which I'm going to use for a few different things. I think I'm going to put them, some of them in my entrance hall, and I'm also going to put some in the bathrooms. I'm going to sew little um, loops on some flannels and use those as hand towels rather than like big bulky towels, because yeah, I think it'll look more sleek, so loving those. Next we have plants and pots, and I'm super happy with the ones I picked up actually. So first of all, we have this one, which I picked up when I went to one of the IKEA stores actually. Yeah, super nice tree, and I love this pot as well. Don't know if you can see, but it's like a concrete effect, which I love. I also picked up one of their live cacti. I mean, how can you not go into IKEA and come out with a cactus? Um, love this one. Ooh. And um, another one of those concrete pots. These look so nice together. They look really cute. Definitely check out their like live plant section. It's really good. I've also got another one of their live plants. This one, for some reason, is really giving me Jurassic Park vibes. I don't know why. Look at that. It's kind of cool though, isn't it? A little bit different. So I love that. And I like the gold little planter stand as well. Again. Super cute, can't really go wrong, can you? And lastly, for the live plants, I picked up some of this ivy. Again, those concrete little pots come in this size as well, so I pop those in these. I pop them on top of a couple of units and they look quite nice, kind of draped down. This one's kind of dying a bit there, don't look at that. <laughs> but yeah, these are cute. And lastly, we have the couple of furniture bits. And I just picked up these two white drawer units and kind of put them together and they fit super nicely in the space. They fit all of my underwear and pajamas, all that kind of stuff in there and yeah work really nicely together so super happy with those so i think that was everything i really hope you enjoyed it and it's given you some kind of home inspo which one was your favorite item definitely let me know in the comments down below but apart from that thank you so much for watching remember to subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you again in the next one bye